All right, I know y'all read the title and you know what we're fixing to do. We're gonna walk through this Old Town Big Water 132 PDL. Man, that's a mouthful. We're gonna walk through it, check out all the features. I have not been on it yet. This is simply just gonna be a walkthrough, no review, but a walkthrough showing all the features, letting you guys see what I'll be using in the upcoming summertime because this is my new fishing platform. Uh, pretty excited to use it. But yeah, we're gonna do a walkthrough. I'll use it for a few months. You guys will see it in all my videos. We'll be talking about it, but then we'll do a review, you know, maybe eight, 10 months, a year into it when I got a pretty good opinion about it. But let's get through this walk. We're gonna start at the front, work to the back, go over everything. Let's start with a few specs. It's 13 feet, two inches long, 36 inches wide, and 117 pounds with the drive. As soon as you look at it, the first thing that you notice, this giant molded in handle, guys. Man, that thing is solid. I'm pretty pumped about using that. It's gonna make it a lot easier to carry with two people. With one person, you'll have to use the wheels. This thing is pretty heavy. Moving back, giant hatch. Easily open it with one hand, take the lid off. It is attached with a string, so you will not be dropping that. Check it out, giant hatch. Got a battery bag in here. This can come out, you can raise it, lower it, secure it, but this is for your electronics, man. This is gonna be where you store your battery. I mean, you can use it probably for multiple things, but it's designed to store your uh, fish finder battery or to run any of your electronics, lights, fish finder, navigation lights, whatever it may be, that's what that's for. My complaint on the other kayak was the draining system. This kayak is designed for a pretty solid dry ride, man. I mean, look at this. The hatch is not only lifted, so this thing is gonna be bone dry but there's a recess around the hatch where that water, if when the water comes over the nose, and if it rides down any of this or splashes over, it's gonna ride this here, go right down that drain hole, and that empties out where you would be running your fish finder accessories because there is a pre-mounted um, transducer uh, plate down there. Now, when I was first looking at this kayak, I was always wondering what these were. I did a little bit of research, checked out Old Town's website, but these are mounts specifically for accessories, whether it be rod holders, GoPro mounts, but that pad is designed to be drilled into and use it for whatever you want. They are removable. You see the two screws there. You can also, it's got a little cut, which I believe is to run your transducer wire or your actually your fish finder wire. Your transducer wire would go down there to that transducer mounting plate. But here you can run your wire from your battery through there, through here, and your transducer, of course, will be mounted in any of these accessory rails, or you can mount it, of course, in any of this flat surface here. But yeah, that's pretty neat how they put accessory plates where they could. Instead of just making this an open place, a useless area, you can mount accessories right there. That's pretty cool. I'm planning on putting a GoPro there. On both sides, left and right, you have these accessory mounts as well you can put rod holders gopros whatever it may be they are removable you can put other gear tracks on there but i like how they use utilize the front the back but this is open you can drill accessories here fish finder whatever it may be and again that's on both sides and beneath these you have a pretty good size pouch put your fish grips lures extra packs of baits whatever now the main feature of this bad boy here pdl Here's your pedals, your PDL, prop. I already changed the prop nut to a floating prop nut because one thing I did read about it is when if your shear pin breaks on the water and you go to change all this, you gotta have a place to put the little nut they gave you. But Navarre Kayak Fishing makes accessories specifically for, for Old Town Kayaks. This nut here, it's easy to take off by hand, no tools. And if you were to drop it, you're in the water, this thing flows. So it's just gonna stay here in this little hatch because the water's gonna be halfway up this hatch, you know? Pretty cool idea with that guy. But for the rest of the PDL, of course you got your, your mounting, your locks for when you go to take off. You just simply turn this until it clicks. Your pedals. It's got a handle to easily open it up and down. And when you pull this down, I can't because I'm on a table. You just lock it with that there mechanism there. Now, also, instead of just making a wasted space, they took advantage of this PDL made a hatch, spring-loaded hatch lid, check that out. Plenty of room in there to store GoPro batteries, firearm, whatever you wanna put in there. And it will be, it, I mean, you can just look at the hatch and tell how dry that will be. 
it's raised up above the PDL, got a gasket, and then when you look at this, it's also raised here. Attention to detail, man. These guys really took care of it as far as these hatches go. I think they're going to be completely dry, but yet we'll find out because I have not been on the water yet, but I'll let y'all know for sure. So your steering knob, this is how you adjust your PDO. You can see it turning back there left and right, but left hand, turn it very easy. Uh, I adjusted the cables when I got it to my liking to see how stern I wanted it. Um, this is a tensioner. I don't plan on using that very much, but it's designed to say you're catching a drift or you're just uh, kind of drifting along and casting, but the current's turning you. You can, you know, say you had to turn it right, lock it, that it locks your, uh, your rudder in place so that you stay going straight or whichever direction you might be wanting to go. Pretty handy. I mean, it's, I don't like that it's plastic because when you tighten this on, it just pushes the rod up or pushes the handle up. Um, not too crazy about the way that feels on the handle because I feel like it's going to break. I'll show you the fix to that here in a second. Locking paddle holder. Another little locking tray here. You can fit your paddle in here. I tried it. It works great. But there's no need if your paddle's here locked in out of the way. So here, I'm actually going to put my anchor pole. It's pretty sweet. Lock your anchor pole in. It sets right there when you're ready. I'll show you my anchor mount, but my anchor mount's going to be off of this side here, and you just stick your anchor through the mount. I like that. Check the seat out, guys. Still got the tags on it. I haven't even taken everything off. I haven't rigged this thing up completely for the water yet, but seat, mesh backing, mesh bottom, will not hold water. Uh, it's all aluminum, pretty solid. I do like the low back because I realized with my other one, the high back got in the way of my life jacket. So now the back part of my life jacket is going to hang over the top of this, so I'll be able to sit all the way back. Um, like I said, solid aluminum, has a tackle tray, and of course this kayak, pretty sweet. It uh, comes with a little tackle box from Old Town. You can put whatever you want in there, of course. But you can also fit multiple other things in there. My idea is going to be putting a dry box with my camera batteries in there. If I can find one that fits, it's got to be pretty tiny. Or you can just get another tackle box because it's going to be dry. That's actually a pretty good idea. Maybe I'll put them in there. But uh, underneath the seat, I'll remove this seat and show you guys that. Ton of room under the seat. I do not know. I've researched a little bit, but it's kind of hard to type in what to look for on that. I don't know what these are for yet, but I'm going to try to find out. And if I do, I'll either make another video or put it in the comments. Dry storage. I kind of feel like this one was designed to put accessories, run wires, through in-hole mounting, whatever you needed, but it locks completely dry, will not come up. Unlock it, slides right up. You can see the locking, pretty sweet. Use that rubber gasket. But again, it is raised up above the hull, so there will not be any leaking. It just sets on top. There's no way water can get in there, but this gives you access to the entire hull, front and back. Um, I, my guess would be, like I said, to run wires, lights, things like that. I mean, because anything else you put in here, uh, it's going to slide and you're going to kind of lose it in there, but still will be handy for m mounting my uh, fish finder when I get one. Switch sides, go to the other side of the kayak. This is the right side. Forward facing rod holder. If you guys watched my other review, I had to mount a, on my other kayak, I had accessory rails, but I had to mount a forward facing rod holder here. So when I catch a fish, I can put my rod away, handle the fish without having to put it on the ground in the way. This one is forward facing has the same little rod leash accessory forward facing sweet handle just like on the other side uh the cup holder it's tiny i do like how they put that drain in there water gets in it goes out the other cup holder in my other kayak it was recessed into the whole swimming pool all you could do in there is put live shrimp minnows let it swim around <laughs> but this one will drain and again when that water gets in there it's going to drain out and check that out attention to detail guys i mean that's that's impressive that they look at that minor detail to drain this water out falls out of there into there gone this is your rudder and gauge handle so backwards is down my rudder's down if i lift this up watch my rudder raise boom just like that now what i do like about it is the tension is adjusted to where if i just wanted to lift it up temporarily it stays. If I wanted to just drag it, if I'm in shallow, shallow water, I have to lift the PDL up, but I still need some steering help. I can drop it down there, still steer it, stays, 
we're gonna test that when we get on the water see if it actually holds like that but that right there is is pretty sweet let's go ahead and lock it up boom got a little groove for you when you uh, travel lock it down not coming up perfect the rear tank well two rear facing rod holders two gear tracks um, not exactly sure what you would use this, but it's on both sides. Uh, maybe, I really don't know. You can mount something here. Maybe some lo uh, loops to tie down something. This bungee here, I probably won't use it, but it is pretty handy. If you did put something in there, super easy to get out. I will probably leave it loose just like this and have maybe one tackle bag back here because I, I, I pack light. Use my little tackle bag, maybe a cooler um things like that uh my hog trough but it's humongous look at how deep this thing is i mean it's super deep and again so this you can't tell by the video i doubt but the tank well is kind of when you're when you're sitting flat it's kind of leaning this way so when it's downhill towards these scuppers so that water is going to drain nice into the scuppers same thing into the scuppers very very pleased with that no water that gets here will travel to the front because of this huge uh, divider now this um, i don't see myself ever using it but you can tell on the top water 120 version of this kayak um, there's a hatch here but this can be cut out and you can put your own hatch there it's a giant hatch like maybe you wanted to mount accessories or if you wanted to put your power pole you might cut this to run the wires a little easier but uh, I don't plan on using that. I don't plan on getting an electronic power pole. I'll just use my anchor stick. Check the rudder out, guys. This thing's pretty solid, ran by steel cables, mounted through the hole. So they're completely out of the way. No nonsense. Adjustable. If I need to tighten this cable, I can. Same thing on this side. Now, when I unlock this rudder, I'll fold it down and show you guys. This is pretty cool. I don't think I plan on ever getting one because... They are very expensive, but to mount your electronic power pole, it's got a pre-drilled surface for that. It even tells you shallow water, shallow water anchor mount. Uh, you remove these bolts, put the power pole plate here. Your power pole goes through here. Of course, those would be out of your way. But um, pretty cool that they installed that. If you wanted it, I won't be using it, but still pretty cool that they did that. Now, usually I don't like rigging these things up until I use them and get an idea of what I want with them but so I did read that that tensioner knob that I was showing you earlier you can tighten it as tight as you want it's just not very easy to be fishing or sight casting oh let me tighten this real quick while I'm trying to sight cast because when I see the fish I have usually a matter of seconds to be quiet and cast so Leave that completely free, turning, and instead of locking your direction, check this out. So when it was sent to me, it gets sent with like a, just a shear pin that goes down through here and comes out through here. And it's just got a little split ring locking it. So there's no tension on that. So it's free to turn wherever. Usually you would use your rod tensioner up there to keep that tight. Now, Navar Kayak, and I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to look at their accessories. Navar Kayak made this specifically for this kayak. It is a bolt, what I think it was like a 7 16 nut, a locking nut, and these washers, you replace that little shear pin with, and what that does is allow you to put that in, put your lock nut on there, and tighten it down to the tension that you desire. So now my steer, I tightened it up, my steering is a little tighter, but I'm not gonna complain about having tight steering versus having to use that locking. So when I turn left and I let go of that knob, it's gonna stay there because of how tight I got this. That to me is a huge bonus. Uh, Navar Kayak Fishing, huge props to you guys. If you guys are gonna check them out, they make great accessories. He makes them all in-house. Uh, he even uh, makes them designed per customer specs. I mean, you can send him what you want. If he can design it and print it, he does. Forgot to tell you guys about this uh, drain plug. Not too important. I don't plan on getting water in there. Let's hope we don't. Now beneath, uh, this here is a removable kind of like a skid plate so that you know you're gonna drag it you're gonna have to pick it up tote it by yourself but you can remove that replace it as needed as you wear it out pretty sweet definitely love being able to replace it not just dig in the hole and make scratches 
Now I know I mentioned that transducer mounting plate earlier, but here it is a better look. And it's actually pre-drilled with a few of the holes that are aligned with some of the accessory plates that are on the market today for fish finder transducers. Pretty sweet, built in, and so that you can go as shallow as this boat will go and not scrape your transducer because it's kind of flush mounted the way you look at it right there. Now I'm just gonna give you one more look at the boat, kind of overview it front to back, check it out. Anything you see you got a question about, you guys let me know, man, and I'll answer the best I can. If I gotta come back out here and look at it, so be it, just ask. There is the kayak, man, that is it. That's what I'm gonna be fishing from. So pumped about it. I mean, this is a giant upgrade compared to what I had. I hope that helps you out, guys. If there's anything you've seen me going through that I did not cover, which I'm sure there could be, I covered up what I thought was most important, but I could easily miss something. Any questions, you guys let me know. Like I said, I haven't been on the water yet, but I plan to this week. You'll see the video. If you tuned in just for this platform, checking it out, uh, think about subscribing, man. I'm going to be fishing for, from it from here on out all summer long. So pumped about it. If you guys have any questions, just ask me, man. Or follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a link to that as well. It's much easier to send you pictures or answers, questions, and things like that. It's much easier. But definitely hope you guys enjoyed this. I appreciate you tuning in. That's going to about do it, guys. The next video you see will be an on-the-water first impression, hopefully putting some fish in this boat. But, yeah, man. Stay tuned, guys. I appreciate it.